If I put it up, listen to this, guys. You hear that? Mechanical valve. Yeah, yeah. What up, YouTube? About to go do back and buyers workout. So yeah, just getting ready to, to head off to the gym now. Get keen. Basically in the middle of winter here, and it's not too bad today. It's pretty bearable. Um, it's been some cold days lately. It makes it hard to train. Like you just you have to basically be training in you know jumper trackies all day. All right. So pool day, back and buys with my mate Luke, who you're gonna meet. He's an awesome mate. He's uh, got a pretty cool story too, which I'll probably get him to share a little about it as well. So stay tuned. Okay. What's up guys? Hang on, we should get recording. What's up guys? Here with Luke. How's it so, going guys? We're down here at Riley's. We're about to warm up. We're gonna do back and buys. So yeah, we're gonna get into it. Big day, big day. It. Big session. That's it. So just warming up here. Luke's just rolling on his back. Important to roll out the back, loosen all the muscles, then ready for that pump. All eyes on me. Finish back, just 
moved on to biceps here. Make sure he's working that bicep curl. Working the eccentric. Good work, smashing it. Absolutely smashing it. Check it out. How'd you guys go follow Luke? Luke's just had heart surgery. It's been about three months post heart surgery. He has a mechanical valve, so he has a heart valve transplant. Mechanical valve, and look at him. He's a beast, smashing weights in the gym. Look at that. What a legend. Go follow him, guys. If I put it up, listen to this, guys. Can you hear that? Mechanical valve. Yeah, yeah. back workout, finished off with buys, feeling pretty pumped, I'm going to smash some protein, that's it. So just finished back workout with Luke, we smashed uh, back and buys, put a few little extra buy uh, exercises in there, sort of really uh, really crank it up. So I'm going to go home and eat, it's currently raining so it's a little bit cold, I'm going to eat, I'm going to show you guys what I have post workout to really make sure you're fueling your recovery. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. So I just got back from the gym. Um, I'm gonna show you guys basically what I eat post gym to fuel recovery from the workout. It's important that you're getting the right nutrients after workout to support the work you're doing in the gym. So first up, you gotta make sure you're getting your protein after you're working. So I'm going for a um, a protein which is rapidly absorbed. So this is something that I'm um, having straight after my workout um, as it's going to absorb quickly and help with uh, muscle growth, recovery um, and all that. So that's what I'm going for. Okay. post-workout meal so because carbs are an important fuel for recovery that's what your body uses to burn as energy so I've got my pre-made meal here which is my meal prep from the other day I've done and I've also got some pasta here so some gluten-free pasta with um, some rock and spices in it as well so I've got my pasta here and then I've heated this up as well so my pre-cooked meal was quinoa and bassa fillets so 200 grams of bassa fillets, I know I'm getting about 25 to 30 grams of protein in that. Yeah, so there you go. Basically, I've got roughly around um, all up, it's probably about 60 grams of protein because I'm sipping on this, um, which is rapidly absorbed. So sipping that first, get that protein into me. Then I've got the fish, which is going to be a little bit slow release because it's got to be processed. So that's going to sustain me for a couple of hours. Then I've got the pasta and the um, quinoa in there, and I'm aiming to hit about 80 grams of carbs post-workout. So you guys really should be looking at having majority of your carbs before and after your workout. Why you want to do that is um, that's when your carbs are going to be utilized the most for, for fuel. That's when your body's going to be burning carbs as energy. So it's really crucial um, to make sure you get that that carb loading in before and after. 
Okay. Okay.